443 megabits per second down. 55.1 up. I'll take that. A very good morning from South Cambridge here in the United Kingdom. For myself and Des, that's my starting router. In case it's the first time you've ever seen this channel and you're thinking, why is he holding a router? Starting router with eyes and a moustache on it. Well, there's a story behind that. And I'm going to set him down without looking because that's how good we are. And I did it successfully. So, yeah. Today, we're going to be talking about speed tests. And I'm going to give you some honest feedback about how things have been since the 5th of May, which was almost like some kind of independence day. But before I jump into the serious stuff, as always, here's some lambs playing football. And as cute as they are, they don't stay like that. They become massive. And this is them this morning. So as you'll see, I have some speed tests running in the corner. And these are today's results on this firmware. So on the 5th of May, there was a global outage, if you like, where the network was messing about. There was tons of dropouts and various other things. In fact, there was posts on Reddit, people going a bit irate about it. And really, it wasn't that bad. It was more frustrating. And actually, if you jump back to February or March, it was, there was some serious downtime there. But this was something in the network. Something was happening. And yes, it was a firmware update was due to arrive on the 6th of May, which it did. And that's the current version that we're on, which I will share with you now. So that 443 megabits per second is a taster of what might be to come. And actually, that's not mine. That is, have a guess. It's Martin's. <laughs> It's Martin's, and that's, I'm good with that, we're friends. And it's not envy or jealousy in any way, because that's not nice. Great guy, no, he really is. I appreciate you, Martin. As Starlink heads towards full global rollout and away from beta, which we don't know when that is, because again, we don't really hear from Starlink customer services. What we do hear is small conversations that do happen between the community and them. But there's nothing solid. And this really is a flavor of what things are like and could be like going forward. And I, I do hope for the sake of us as customers that we have a better dialogue with them. For example, say firmware comes out like last week. Well, what's changed what has improved is it a case of we just test it and see what looks better or what doesn't and that can be quite frustrating it'd be nice to have some notes to say look we're refining this there's going to be some more outages uh, more often than not the place you find out about this stuff is is on the forums reddit or, or social media and that's the great thing that we have discord and i'll pop the link of our discord channel in the description below you're relying on the community to give you their experiences rather than you worry that it's your dish or your network that's gone down. It tends to be, if you go down, everybody else has gone down. It's pretty certain, even if it's just in a, in a region or area. Uh, more often than not, it's globally. But what I find is that whenever there is these global outages, you do tend to have a firmware update. Um, some of the firmware updates have been really strong where the dyno speeds have really increased, but now it looks like it's about refinement. It's, it's kind of testing some stuff. Again, we don't know what it is, just guessing, but the previous firmware version to this one was quite nice. It was, it was fast, it was low ping, it was low jitter. And now that seems to be quite erratic again. So it's almost like it's one step forward and two steps backwards. But I think that by the time this is a rollout rather than a beta program that you will not experience this and I guess this is my way of sharing what it's like to be an early adopter of something it's don't get me wrong I love it and compared to what I have it is amazing and it's fast and I can upload the stuff that I couldn't upload before in times that I couldn't do before instead of consuming my network for days on end it would only be a couple of hours and then my work is finished so it is good and I'm not knocking it, but I think things can get a lot better. And on the off chance that somebody from Starlink does watch this, I would encourage you to start to create a dialogue with your customers, start sharing 
what's happening. Not necessarily behind the scenes. Yeah, I get it. You've got competition and all that, but it's important that you share information about your outages or upcoming outages or firmware updates. Just share what's happening within those firmware ad- updates, even if it's just we're trying to improve ping or we're trying to improve upload. Those little things will go a long way. So there you have it. That is the update on the 11th of May. I know it's not massively exciting, but this is just an honest feedback on how I think Starlink is performing. And that's in terms of network, but also in terms of their customer service. So I'll leave you with these speed tests. Whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, have a good one. And I will catch you later.